back <laughs> and we'll get started. So if you have a bathroom built, you just want to make a, a loop at the end of it, a loop for your foot. And it is 10 o'clock time to get started. Uh, grateful to be alive on this thankful Thursday and grateful to be here at this moment. Um, personally, I'm feeling a little anxious today. I've had good days and then some not so good days. So I need to be here in the practice with the breath. The breathing allows us to focus and find the most blissful silence inside of ourselves. So we'll start out with some breathing. Go ahead, lie down on your back. If you have a ball, a pillow, or props, put them underneath your, your buttocks. And then extend your legs so you feel the stretch in your hip flexor and you feel it in through the lower belly. Keep the arms resting down on the ground and one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. Big inhale through the nose, expanding the lungs, the ribs, the chest. And exhale it out through the mouth with your unique sound. Close the eyes if you'd like. Big inhale through the nose, expanding the lungs, the ribs, the chest. Exhale out of the mouth with your unique sound. Keep going, a couple more of those. If this is too much on your back at this time, bend your legs, the feet are wide and the knees fall in towards each other. Big inhale through the nose, expanding the lungs, the, lip, the, lungs, the ribs, the chest. Exhale through the mouth. Keep going with your breath. Allow any thoughts in your mind to be drawn into the breath like it's sucked right into a whirlpool. And when you exhale, you wanna send it through your third eye space, Ajna Chakra. That has to do with your intuition and that has to do with that blissful silence. Big inhale through the nose, expanding the lungs, the ribs, the chest. Keep the lips sealed and this time exhale through the nose. Set an intention for your practice. Set a prayer for yourself, family, friends, for the world. Thankful Thursday. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for watching over us. Thank you for allowing us to experience our deeper self. and dig deep to find the faith and the trust and really rely on you. Draw both knees into your chest. Find the stability on the ball. You can remove the ball if you'd like to or just draw both knees into your chest. And breathe deep here. Breathe into your side body Breathe into your back body. The lungs are three-dimensional. You have a top, you have a bottom, you have a side, you have a front, you have a back. So breathe in and really expand through all of the lungs. Exhale through the nose. And just relax. Let all your tissues soften. Let your feet down, move the ball out of the way. Draw the knees back into the chest. Right hand on the right knee, left hand on the left knee, and start to circle the knees in an outward direction. Keep that breath strong, keep it intentional. Keep exhaling through your third eye space. Feel a little rocking, wave-like action in your lower back and reverse the circle. Feel the ball and socket joint of the hips as you get that smooth glide, that smooth rotation.
plant the feet down. This is a basic back traction. Hands on the thighs and you're going to press the thighs away and lengthen your spine. Your muscles are relaxed. This is to lengthen through the bones in your spine. Actually going to get right into the practice now, but it's a gentle, slow moving practice to really warm the body up so we can get into some dynamic moves. So put your band or your strap on the bottom of the right foot, flex the foot and point the toes. Kick the heel up to the ceiling and then point the toes and spread them wide. Think of your bones as levers in the body. Your hips are the biggest hinge. You want to kick your heel and your knee up to the ceiling and really anchor that right hip down so you can get that maximum length. Point and flex. Circle that foot. Exaggerate your circle at the ankle and take your time and then reverse the circle. Inhale, extend the leg away from you. Exhale, shh bicep curl it up. You can inhale, you can extend it all the way down or you can go partially down. You want to really be in control and not lose too much through the core as you move the leg in and out. When you exhale and you draw the leg in, take it to the point of tension so you can soften the tissue. Focus on that breath. Big inhale. Exhale, pull the leg in, soften the tissue, flex the foot. Inhale, kick the leg away. Exhale, pull it in, soften the tissue. For a little extra, you can straighten the left leg. A couple more, inhale, extend it away. Exhale, pull it up towards you. Use the exhaling breath to move that warm air, any tension out of the body, out of the breath. When you exhale, you want to feel the tissue soften like taffy. Go for a little yin stretch here. Now you're not forcing it, but your leg is straight and your leg can be here. Everybody has their own different degree of flexibility. So pull the leg in, soften. Make sure your knees and your toes are directly over your uh, shoulder. Breathe into the stretching sensation and exhale, soften. One more, breathe into that tension and exhale, soften. Now, if you're using a band, you're gonna hold both straps. If you have the bathrobe belt, we're gonna tuck the strap inside the leg and wrap it outside the leg. So we have an internal rotation. Your heel is kicked out and your toes are inward and feel that a little bit in your hip. And just start to make small circles on the ceiling with your heel. Breathe into it. That should be softening and easier to move already. And now we'll do the external rotation. So you're gonna wrap the band outside the leg and pull it and hold it inside. So the heel is kicked in and the toes are kicked out. <sighs> Make that circle, feel it fall in socket joint in the hip. It's not a big move. We want to get rid of any stickiness, any tightness, any tension in the body. Go ahead and take the strap off the foot and just extend the leg out for a minute. Palms up in the receiving position. And just notice the difference between the right side, the left side, through the hip, through the leg, all the way through the heel and the toes of that right foot. Breathe in gratitude. Exhale, gratitude. Put the strap on the bottom of your left foot. Let's warm up the hamstring, the hip, and the lower back. First, you want to anchor the hip down and kick the heel and the knee up to the ceiling. Flex the foot, spread the toes, and then point. And flex, and point. Use that band to give you a little more resistance so you can go deeper into the body tissue. Keep your focus on your breath. Make the breath ceremonial. Make the breath an honoring to life 
to all humanity, to the Holy Spirit. And then start to circle the foot in one direction. Exaggerate the circle and feel the stickiness in the ankle or the foot and reverse the circle. When you find the stickiness, you want to slow it down and breathe through it. Recognize it, acknowledge it, and see if you can release it with the exhaling breath. All right. Inhale, extend that leg away. Exhale, pull it up. Right leg bent or straight. Inhale, extend the left leg away. Exhale, pull it up towards you. Take your time, listen to your body, listen to your breath. Inhale, extend it away. Exhale, pull it towards you. So as you're doing the movement and you're breathing, you wanna exhale through your third eye space, Ajna Chakra. Has to do with your intuition and a deeper sense of calm. It also coincides with your pineal gland, which has to do with your sleep cycle. amongst other things. Exhale, pull it in at that point of tension and feel the softness. Ooh, my leg's shaking from all that bicycle riding I've been doing. I'm thinking about trading my car in and just using my bike. That would be challenging on those hot summer days. <sighs> Inhale, extend the leg away. Exhale, pull it in towards you. Couple more. Inhale, extend it away. Hold it and wait for the bottom of the exhale before you move again. It's at the top of the inhale, the bottom of the exhale. That's where the work gets done in the body. Woo. Inhale, extend it away. Exhale, pull it up towards you. Now hold it for a moment. Close the eyes, soften and breathe. Send your breath through your third eye space, Ajna Chakra. Imagine you have a, a unicorn horn at Ajna Chakra, and you really want to get the breath to the tip of the horn. So the deeper you breathe into the space, the more relaxation you will experience. Bring the leg back to 90 degrees, foot's up to the ceiling, wrap the band outside the leg and pull it on the inside of the leg. So we have an external rotation. The heel is inward, the toes are outward, Feel it down the leg, into the hip, and then just start to make small circles and breathe. It's not a big move, but it's very deep and effective in the hips. When you feel the stickiness in the muscle tissue, that's when you slow it down and you want to soften it. Change it out. So wrap the strap inside the leg and pull it on the outside internal rotation. Heel is kicked out, toes are kicked in. Make sure that hip stays down and then just make small circles with the leg. We're going to stretch it out really good the first section of the class and then we'll go into some dynamic moves. Slowly release out of that. Extend your leg out Palms up in the receiving position. Breathe through that third eye space. We'll do a breathing exercise called Kapalabhati. This is an energetic interaction. It's a non-mental, non-doing. You want to exhale out of the mouth like you're blowing out candles on a cake. Focus on the exhale. Let the inhale happen on its own. So it sounds like this through the mouth. Keep going, exhale, exhale, exhale. Feel your stomach muscles snap in as you exhale, don't stop. Send the breath through that third eye space. Close your eyes, send the breath through that third eye space. If you wanna try it through the nose, the lips are sealed and it sounds like this. Keep going. Send that breath through that third eye space. Keep the jaw relaxed. Exhale, 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 exhale. Feel the aliveness in the body. Know that you're supported 
with the universe. You're not going to fall through the floor. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Last 10 seconds, we're going to go a little faster. Big inhale. Your own sacred sound. Drop into Laya. Laya is a state of the natural breath. Let the body breathe for you. Feel that energetic interaction. It's a non-mental, non-doing. You might see uh, a light show of color through the third eye space. You might see fractal of white light energy through you, all around you. Drink it in on a cellular level. Feel as if you've expanded, becoming one with the universe. Breathe in a smile from your head to your toes, your bones to your skin. And when you exhale, lift the corners of your lips, lift your ears. Both knees back into the chest. Hug them in, wind removing pose. Hold opposite hands, wrist, forearm, elbows. Lengthen your spine on the ground, flex the feet. Hips are the biggest hinge, your bones and levers. You're trying to lengthen through your spine. Think about pressing your tailbone down so you get a little more length and you can feel that compression deep in the hip joint. Straighten your legs up to the ceiling for legs on the wall. Kick the heels up, flex your toes towards you. Feet are hips distance apart. Let's get into a little bit with the arms. Extend the arms out to the side like a capital T and suction cup your finger pads into the floor. Feel your chest opening, anchor your shoulder blades down. You wanna contract the muscles on the legs. You're actually toning your legs. You're strengthening your legs muscles. This is really good if you get um, heavy feet, swollen ankles, and when your feet and your ankles, your legs start to swell and inflame, it means everything else in your body is sinking down and causing that pressure. We don't want that in our organs and in our heart. Actually, sometimes heartburn is the heart physically as a muscle is sinking low and sitting on the stomach. Bend your legs into table, flex the feet. We're gonna go into supine horse stance. Hands on the inner thighs, take your legs out to the side. Keep them 90 degree angle. So tuck your chin towards your chest and look down. Make sure your heel is below your knee. Your knee is in alignment with your hip bone, not your navel, align it with the hip. Kick the heels up, the toes down. Pull the inner thighs apart. Spread through the groin and relax. Breathe into that stretching sensation. Feel the aliveness in the body. Exhale, allow it to soften and stretch like taffy. This is what I call Spider-Man crawl. You're gonna pull one leg up towards you, kick the other leg away, and then keep going. Just like you're shimmying up the side of the building. I really feel this in my hips today. I'm sure it's from riding my bicycle. Just like you're shimmying up the side of the building. Knees are wide. Come back to the supine horse stance and work on extending the legs, hands on the inner thighs, pull the inner thighs apart. Again, everybody's degree of flexibility is different. You get out of it what you put into it. Don't judge where you are, just be there in appreciation. Now with the legs straight, we're going to swing the legs up and down. Let the hips, um, let the hips move. Let the hips rock. Breathe. <sighs> Exhale with your own sacred sound. Woo! Little intense. Hands on the outer thighs, bring the legs back together. Take a moment. Upright butterfly. Soles of the feet press in towards each other, knees aside. Lift the feet up enough so you have a diamond shape between your legs and pull the knees apart from each other. Cresting baby. You want to interlock your fingers on the pinky toe side of your feet. Bring your feet down towards your tush. Now press the knees and the feet away so that your head, neck, and your shoulders lift up. 
Relax your shoulders away from your ears. Press your lower back into the ground. Scoop the belly. Stretch the neck long like a turtle. You can tuck the chin to the chest. Exhale, scoop the belly. Inhale, stretch the arms a little more. Now, on the exhaling breath, you're gonna keep your upper body lifted and just relax the head back so you decompress through the back of the neck. And tuck the chin to the chest again. And when you exhale, relax the head back, decompressing the back of the neck. Keep the head back there and turn your head side to side so you're squeegeeing through the back of the neck muscles. Relax and soften. Tuck the chin to the chest, passive plow. Draw your, relax the upper body down. This is like a Thai massage move. You're gonna draw your feet towards your navel, towards your chest, maybe even towards your head. From here, if you can get the heel of your foot in the palm of the hand, go for that. Now with the arms relax, the elbows really fall up towards the head. This move here, you want to lift your lower back. You want to feel the stretching pain sensation in the tissue in the lower back. Use your breath to soften it. From here, you're gonna breathe in a new vibration, breathe in a relaxation. When you exhale, let the tissue soften. This is really good for your organs, really good for your spine. Keep that breath going, really good for it, calming the nervous system, calming the mind. Now, if anybody has plow pose in their practice, this would be a good time to go into the plow. You can bring your arms down by your side and plant your hands and take the legs up over your head. So this would be a version of plow. You can rock it a little bit and bring the feet up and over. You can bring your hands onto your lower back supporting. Keep the neck long. Relax the legs down, breathe. Go for five big inhales and exhales. Breathing in a new vibration, breathing in a relaxation. When you exhale, move that muscle tension out of the body, out of the breath. Breathing in a white light from head to toe, bone to skin. Exhaling that white light from head to toe, bone to skin and filling the room with your vibrant white light self. Last time, big inhale. Exhale, soften. Slowly with control, start to work your way out of that. Pull the knees into the chest. Let the body reset. We'll go right into advanced figure four stretch. Feet are flat on the ground. Back traction, lengthen. Put the strap on the bottom of your left foot. And you're gonna flex your right foot and put it across your left thigh. Get that figure four stretch. Hold the strap with your left hand. Right hand pushes the right knee away. Breathe and soften. And let's milk the muscle. So you allow the left leg to extend away and then just pull it in to your point of tension and soften. Let's go for five. Inhale the leg away, exhale, pull it in, your point of tension and soften. Do it again. See if you can lengthen the back of the neck by slightly tucking the chin down and letting the back of the neck get long. Two more. Inhale the leg away, exhale, pull it in. Last time, inhale the leg away, exhale, pull it in. Bring the leg back to vertical and cross your right thigh over your left thigh. From here, if you can eagle the legs, you're gonna wrap your right foot behind your left calf muscle. Just let the strap hang for a minute. Arms extend out to the side. Big inhale, on the exhale, 
Suction cup your hands to the floor. Feel this in your obliques. Release your knees over to your left. Let them relax down. Now, if this is too much on your body, you can use a prop under the knees for support. I want you to be able to completely relax. Bring the arms up over the head. Bend them. Hold the right elbow with the left hand. Draw that elbow up away from the hip so you get the length through the right side. Keeping your shoulders squared off to the ceiling, just move your body over to the left. Adjust, do what you need to. You wanna feel that half moon, feel the stretch, the lateral stretch on the right side of the body. Turn your chin towards your right shoulder and breathe into your right lung only. Keep sending that exhaling breath through that third eye space. Breathe from the pelvic floor up the right side of the spine into the right side neck, right side lip, nostril, ear, eye. Send the breath back down that right side. Breathe from the right side of the spine out to the right side of the body. So you have that breath, that life force energy breathing over your right side intestines, the liver, the kidney, part of the right side stomach, the right lung, the right breast, exhale and soften. Plant the arms back out to the side, open through the chest, big inhale on the exhale, use your core muscles to bring the legs back into the center, readjust. Bring your prop on the other side if you use one, and let's switch it out. Put the band on the bottom of the right foot, flex your left foot across the right thigh. Keep a good, clean, strong line in that left ankle. Right hand is holding the strap, left hand is pushing the knee away. Big inhale, exhale, draw it into the point of tension and feel the softening. Go for four more. Inhale the leg away, exhale, shh, point attention and soften. Inhale it away, exhale, draw the leg in, lengthen the back of the neck again by tucking the chin down. Inhale, extend the leg away, exhale, draw it in as you push the other knee away. Last time, inhale, extend it away, exhale, draw it in. Bring your right leg back to vertical, cross your left thigh over the right. If you can, you eagle the legs. Get your prop ready if you used it. Arms out to the side, suction cup those finger pads so you can open the chest. Big inhale, on the exhale, release the knees over to your right. Oh. And relax into it, that should feel deliciously good. Bring your chin over towards the left shoulder. Bring the arms over the head. Bend them, hold your left elbow with your right hand. And then move your body over to the right side, just your upper body. Adjust, do what you need to. You're keeping your shoulders squared off to the ceiling as your knees fall to the right and your chin is to the left. And breathe into the left lung only. Breathe up from the left side pelvic floor through the left side of the spine into the left side le neck, lip, nostril, ear, eye, and swing that breath back down the left side. Breathe from the left side of the spine out to the left side body. Pranayama, prana is the life force energy. It's like the ozone, it's not the air itself, it's something in the air. It's the good stuff in the air we want to breathe into our body, not the bad stuff we're trying to keep out. Breathe in that prana, that life force energy. Breathe it over the left side intestines, small and large, left side stomach, left kidney, left lung, heart. Find your exhale and soften. Relax it all. Extend the arms out to the side, claw the floor. Big inhale. On the exhale, bring those legs back into the center. Unravel. 
Take the strap off, put the feet flat on the ground, readjust your spine. Two more moves in stretching, and then we'll get into some movement in the body. It's good to open up the channels of energy first, so you can really enjoy the movement without worrying about pain. Listen to the instruction on this one, and I know I'm on a mirror image, so I'm backwards. Feet are flat on the ground. Have your strap on your left side. Your right foot is gonna cross underneath your left leg. If you can grab your right foot with your left hand, with your right knee extending away from you, that's what you're gonna do. If you take a hold of the foot and the knee is up to the ceiling, put the strap on the bottom of the foot or wrap around the foot and hold on to the strap. You want that right knee pointing in the opposite direction of your head. Feel the stretch into the quad. This should feel really good. Big inhale, exhale, soften. Draw your left knee into your chest and hold it with your right hand. Now the hand and the knees of both stay connected the whole time. Relax your left leg out to the side so your right shoulder lifts up. This should feel really good. This is stretch number one. Big inhale. On the exhale, pull your left thigh into your chest and twist minimal over to your right side. So we're not going for the full twist yet. So milk the muscle. Inhale, start in position one. Exhale, pull the thigh across the chest into the twist. Your left hip comes up a little bit, that's position two. Go for four more in this. Inhale into position one. Exhale, position two, soften. Inhale into position one. Exhale, position two, soften. Two more, inhale, position one. Exhale, position two. Let your left hip come up a little bit more, soften. Inhale into position one. Exhale into position two. Now you can go for the full twist. Let your left foot come down on the ground. Maybe the knee touches down. Again, if you need a prop so you can relax comfortably, bring the prop underneath your bent left leg. Chin is over towards the right shoulder and soften. Breathe into your left lung only and you wanna conceptualize, you wanna visualize what's going on in the body so you can really benefit. You're wringing out your organs. You're wringing out your left side kidney, the left lung, left side into the intestines. If you're a little more flexible, hold on to your left foot and straighten the leg. Stretch, breathe, relax. Release a hold of the feet Allow the legs to slide on the floor until they're straight and you wind up on your back crossed at the ankles. Breathe and soften and smile. Bend the legs, feet are flat on the ground. Get your back traction again, aligning. Have the strap on your right side. Legs are bent. You're gonna tuck your left foot underneath your right leg. Either hold on to the foot or put the strap on the ankle. You want your left knee in the opposite direction of your head, not necessarily up to the ceiling. Find that stretch. Draw the right knee into the chest and hold it with your left hand. Keep the hand and the knees of both together. Allow your right leg to lean out to the right side so your left shoulder lifts. This is position one. Big inhale. On the exhale, pull your left thigh into your chest and twist it 
just a little bit so the left hip lifts. We want to milk the muscles. We want to take our time going deeper into this. Inhale into position one. Exhale position two. You go a little deeper each time. Inhale into position one. Exhale into position two. You got two more. Take your time in position one, moving through into position two, and in position two, take your time. Last time, inhale into position one, exhale into position two. Allow your right foot to land on the floor. Again, if you need the prop underneath the knee or the leg to be comfortable in this, move the prop. Use it, that's what props are for. Look over your right shoulder. Breathe into the right lung only. Conceptualize, internalize the benefit of this posture. You're wringing out your liver, your right kidney, your right lung, and the right side into the intestines. You're literally wringing them out like you would a sponge, a dish towel. So we're flushing the old blood out. When you release out of the twist, that good clean blood comes in flooding the uh, tissue you just squeezed out. Straighten your right leg if you can. Look over the right shoulder. Soften. Release the hold of the feet, the legs. Allow the legs to slide on the floor so you land on your back. Take a moment, let that settle in the body. We're gonna roll like a ball. This is a form of self-massage. Draw the knees into the chest, hold behind the thighs. Widen the knees as if you're going to um, bring your ears and your knees together. Use your lower legs like a kid on the swing. Scoop your belly. Start to rock. Hips to shoulders, hips to shoulders. Take your time with this. Your movement might just be six inches on your back. Your movement might also be from the hips to the shoulders, hips to the shoulders. If you want to take it up a notch, rock it into seated and find balance for a second, but scoop the belly, rounding the spine when you go back down. If you want to take it up a notch from there, you would take it back as if you're going into a shoulder stand, separate the feet, come wide and stand. Take your time going down. Rock it into shoulder stand, Widen the feet, use your legs, come into standing. Sink it down, rock it into shoulder stand. Widen the feet, come into standing. Take it down. Plant your hands, arms, shoulders down by your side. Let's do some action in the spine. Back of the neck is nice and long. Feet are hips distance apart. Lengthen the back of the neck. Big inhale. On the exhale, plant your feet, your shoulders, your arms, and peel your hips up, peel your spine up. Lengthen the back of the neck. Inhale, float the hips higher. Exhale, bring your spine down like a wheel, bone by bone by bone. Inhale, prepares you. Exhale, lifts you up. Inhale, floats the hips higher. Exhale, brings the spine down. The advanced breathing for that would be on the inhale is when you float your hips up like a hot air balloon, and you exhale, you bring your spine down like a wheel, bone by bone by bone. Inhale, float the hips up. Exhale, bring your spine down like a wheel. Last time, inhale, float the hips up. Exhale, bring your spine down like a wheel. Pull the knees into the chest, rock it into seated, use your prop. We're gonna go into a passive fish pose. Bring the ball um, pretty much, we're gonna backward bend over the ball. So you want the ball pretty much like where your bra strap would be. 
You want your butt on the ground and you want to be able to have your head touching the ground. Maybe you need a support underneath the head. If your head is not touching the ground and you don't need the support, stay with it. So we open up the spaces between the bones and can get the ligaments, the tendons, and the bones to stretch. Arms by your side, passive fish pose. Soles of the feet come in together, so the legs are in butterfly. Hands on the thighs, you can pull the thighs apart a little bit. Straighten the arms up to the ceiling, interlock the fingers, press the palms upward. If any of this is too much, start to work the legs out or come off of your prop. Eagle arms, bend the right arm under the left arm, cross them at the elbows. The thumbs are facing you. You're going to twist at the wrist and bring the palms of the hands together. Now press your elbows into each other so you can open up through the upper back. Inhale, elbows towards your chest. Exhale, bring the arms up over the head, going into a backward bend. Maybe the fingers touch the ground. Inhale, elbows towards your chest. Exhale. Hands up over the head, down to the floor. Last time. Inhale, pull the elbows down, lengthen the head so you're stretching the neck. Exhale, hands touch the ground over the head. Slowly release out of that and switch the cross of the arms. So you have your right arm crossed over your left, you're bending at the elbows, thumbs are facing you, twist hands in prayer. Inhale, pull the elbows down, broaden your chest, Exhale, hands up, touching the floor. Inhale, pull the elbows down, lengthen the neck. Exhale, hands up. Inhale, pull the elbows down. Exhale, lengthen. Last time, inhale, pull the elbows down. Exhale, release out of that. Roll to your side, move the ball out of the way. Use your top arm to push yourself up into a seated position. Extend your left leg out and bend your right leg in. If you need to put a pillow or a block underneath your tush, it's easier on the hips and it makes the spine straight, use it. Your right arm is behind you like a kickstand. Your left hand is on your right knee. Big inhale, stretch the spine up. Exhale, push, pull, twist, look over the right shoulder. Milk the muscles, slowly release out of that on the inhale. Exhale, push, pull, twist, look over the right shoulder. Inhale back to your center point. Exhale, push, pull, twist, look over the right shoulder. Last time, inhale, stretch it up. Exhale, push, pull, twist, look over the right shoulder. See if you can take your right arm behind and reach for your upper sit in the thigh. And then lean the body away from your right leg, although you're still holding on to the knee. Slowly release out of that. Plant your hands on either side of your left leg. Big inhale on the exhale. Walk your body over your left leg. You're trying to get your breastbone and the knee together. If it's within your practice, reach and interlock the fingers below the foot. Pull your body over your left leg. Relax the head and breathe. Slowly release out of that. We're going to go into bridge variations. I think my ball likes me today. It keeps rolling in my direction. We're going to come up onto the right knee and the left leg is straight. You don't have a knee on the left leg. Your left leg is one piece. It's a lever. Nice inhale on the exhale. Plant your right hand down. Come up onto your right knee and your left foot. Now take your right foot and swing it behind you so you can push the hips forward. Stretch the left arm up to the ceiling. Stretch the arms in opposite direction. Adjust your right hand. Walk your right hand um, up towards the head ah, about six inches. 
Lean into that right arm and your right leg. So this is a plank, a side plank. Extend your left arm up over your head. Push the hips forward. Lift your left leg. Just find stability here. Plant your left leg foot down. Nice inhale on the exhale. Left arm comes up to the ceiling. Stretch the shoulders apart. Big inhale on the exhale. Push the floor away and come on up into the gate series. Inhale, extend your uh, shoulders away from your head. Slide your left arm down the leg. Right arm comes up and over. Feel a nice stretch. Inhale, this is your starting point. Stretch your head away from your shoulders. Plant the right hand down. Left arm up over the head again. Big inhale, exhale, come on up. Slide your left arm down the leg. Right arm comes up and over. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Inhale, this is your starting point. Now plant your right hand down and bring your left foot forward in front of you. This is like a side plank. Your right arm and your right leg are your foundation. See if you can reach down and grab the big toe, your left big toe with your left hand. Big inhale on the exhale. You're just gonna heel tap and lift the heel up. I think my head is cut off in the picture. When you exhale and lift your heel, you're stimulating through your pelvic floor. Big inhale, exhale, lift it. Last time, big inhale, exhale, lift it. Maybe you can straighten the leg. Find a kick and pull. Really kick the heel up to the ceiling like you're kicking a door closed and pull on that foot like you're pulling on the rein of a horse. Nice inhale on the exhale, plant the foot down, come on up. This is Captain Morgan style. Wrap your left arm and your left leg together. So your left arm is wrapped behind your left leg. Your left arm is like a plank arm, it's actually really strong. Come up onto your left toes and see if you can pick up the left foot with the right hand. Just pick it up, lean into that left arm, lean into that left arm. If you wanna to try to take this up a notch, on the exhale, extend your left leg and twist. Plant the foot down. Come on into a child's pose. Hips to the right, stretch your body to the left. Relax your head. Come through the center, hips to the left, stretch your body to the right. Come on up onto your knees, widen the knees. Your knees and your feet make the shape of a tripod. Hands onto the lower back, push the hips forward, lift the chest up, squeeze your butt. Relax the head back. Big inhale, big exhale. Come on out of that. Feel the aliveness in the body, let the energy rise. Switch it out to the opposite side. Extend your right leg out, bend your left leg in. Left hand is behind you like a kickstand, right hand on your left knee. Inhale, stretch your spine up. Exhale, push, pull, twist, look over the left shoulder. Milk those muscles, folks. Inhale, stretch it up. Exhale, push, pull, twist. Inhale, stretch it up. Exhale, push, pull, twist. Two more. Inhale, stretch it up. Exhale, push, pull, twist. Inhale it up. Exhale, push, pull, twist. You're a little more flexible if you just want to try it. Try to reach the left arm behind for the opposite inner thigh. And then you're gonna lean away from your left leg. Your right hand is still in the left leg. Just lean away. Relax and breathe. Slowly release out of that. Align your body over your right leg. Hands on either side of your right leg. This one gives me a hard time, which means I need to do it. Inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale. You're gonna walk your hands, your body forward over your right leg. In order to prevent tension from building in the body, sometimes instead of reaching and pulling, 
you want to push away and round, scoop the belly. So the arms are like a kickstand. You're pushing into and away from the floor, relaxing the head down. Breathe and soften. See if maybe you can go a little further. Walk yourself out of that. Now your right leg, it's a lever. You don't have a knee. We're gonna come up on the left knee. Nice big inhale on the exhale. Plant the left hand down, come onto your left knee and swing your left foot behind you. Right? Instead of being um, out towards the other foot, swing it behind you and press those hips forward. Really plant that right foot down. Stretch that right arm up over the head. Get that good stretch. Relax your left ear towards the left shoulder. Big inhale, stretch, stretch, stretch. Nice inhale on the exhale, push the floor away and come on up. So this is gate series. The gate is open, inhale. Slide the right arm down your leg, left arm up and over. Get that nice stretch in the left side body. Inhale, this is your starting position. Stretch your head away from your shoulders. Plant your left hand down. Lift your right leg up, right arm up over the head. Find stability. Make sure those hips are forward. If they're too far back, you, you don't find the stability. Nice inhale on the exhale. Plant the right foot down. Come on up. Open the gate again. Slide that right arm down the leg, left arm up over the head. Inhale, this is your starting point. Exhale, plant your left hand down. Bring your right foot forward. Take a hold of that big toe. Use your exhaling breath to lift your heel. You're leaning into your left bent leg and your left arm like a side plank. See if you can find an exhale to really lift the foot and then straighten the leg. Pull in the foot like you're pulling on the reins of the horse and kick the heel away like you're trying to close the door. And relax and breathe. Big inhale. On your next exhale, plant your right foot down and come on up, Captain Morgan style. Wrap your right arm behind your right leg and lean into that right arm. That right arm is like a plank arm. Pick up your left foot with your right hand. Hold it up. You want to take this up a notch, big inhale. On the exhale, straighten your right leg and just try to twist your body. Slowly release out of that child's pose. Hips on the heels, stretch the arms forward. Come on up into table. Cat cow, big inhale. On the exhale, push the floor away around the spine. Big inhale, puff up the upper back. On the exhale, drop the belly down. Head comes through the arms. Start to rock it forward and back in cat and cow. Use your breath. Move your head. It is an extension of your spine. And this is a brain teaser. You just want to reverse it now. Reverse it. Last time. Come into table. Turn the toes under. Lift up into down dog. Bend the knees, move the hips, let the head hang. Walk your hands back towards your feet. We're going into a wide leg forward fold. If you need props to have your legs be straight, use your props. Legs are wide. Heels are kicked out, toes are kicked in. Legs are straight. Hands on the floor underneath your shoulders. Props or no props, arms are straight, legs are straight. And just shift your weight from the right to the left. 
Legs remain straight. Head relaxes. Now bring the feet parallel so they look like the number 11. And you're going to walk your body over to your right side. Your left hand comes in front of the ankle and holds onto the outside of the leg. Your right arm, you want the fingers facing down to the floor and you're pushing on the outer right shin bone so you can sandwich your body onto the right thigh. Once you get that, bend and straighten your left leg. Breathe. Soften the tissue. This is so good for your organs. Come into the center. Let's go to the other side. Sandwich your body onto your left leg. Right hand wraps in front of the ankle, holds the outside. Left hand, fingers face down towards the floor. Push on that outer shin. Sandwich your body on your left leg and bend and straighten your right leg. Breathe. Bend and straighten that right leg. Last time, come on back into the center. Hands underneath your shoulders, straighten the arms. Nice big inhale on the exhale, pick up the toes, pivot on the heels and come on up into horse stance. It's known as horse stance in Texas. Usually everywhere else over the world it's known as goddess pose. <laughs> straighten your legs, bring the feet together, bring the hands in prayer position. Breathe in gratitude and exhale greatness. Breathe in love and exhale empowerment. Breathe in peace and exhale serenity.